Hi guys, John from John Murray Headshots here. Um, I'm just going to throw a little bit of Wednesday wisdom at you. Uh, we all hate ourselves in photographs. We all have this sensation that we don't look like the person that we think we are. And I just want to throw a little bit of wisdom at you for Wednesday. When we see ourselves in the mirror, we believe we look like that. And we don't. You're the only person in the whole world who sees that image. So when you see yourself in a photograph, it's the wrong way around. So your brain instantly says, what's wrong with this? Why does it not look like the person in the mirror? So you go searching in the photograph or on your face to try and figure out why you don't look like you, that person that's in the mirror that you know is you because you were standing there. So we look and we search on our face really quickly and we'll always pick out one thing on our face that we don't like and look at my face. I have all sorts of stuff going on that nobody ever sees. So I have a heavy eyelid on this side I have a bump on the side of my nose um, and my nose is bent just a little bit because I'm a boy and I've broken it lots of times. My ears are on different levels. One is slightly higher than the other. I have a massive chunk missing from this ear. That happened when I was really young and after six years my fiance still hadn't noticed it until I said it in the middle of a talk. And she sleeps on that side of the bed, by the way. Um, and the only thing I see in photographs of myself is this side of my lip hangs down very, very slightly. So we don't see any of these things in other people. And we kind of imagine in photographs that other people are seeing these things of us and we really don't and they don't. It's like the Arrow and the FedEx logo or it's like the Bear and the Toblerone logo, which I will link below in the comments. The other reason that we don't like ourselves in photographs other than this one thing that nobody else sees is that we don't trust our facial expressions. So when you stand in front of a camera, we all do this sister-in-law smile. You know that smile that your mother-in-law gives you to show that she really doesn't like you and she's trying to make you feel uncomfortable by doing it. The smile. You wouldn't do that to somebody in the street because it would make them feel uncomfortable and they would probably do it back making you feel uncomfortable. And if somebody did it to you in the street, you'd be calling them all sorts of names. So we don't trust facial expressions like that. And in photographs where we're standing in front of a camera and somebody is said to us to smile, we feel that we are required to smile. So instantly do this. And it's disingenuous and it looks weird. So we don't trust that facial expression even though we're looking at ourselves doing it great example of how that is true is that when you see a candid photograph of yourself one that you didn't know the photographer was there or somebody was taking a photograph and you're laughing and having great fun and you see yourself in that photograph and you instantly like that photograph you're like i like that one why do i like that one and not that one and that is why is because you trust the facial expression in the second photograph that candid photograph is you and it's you with your personality coming through and it's you with a genuine facial expression where the muscles of your face are all aligned. They're all working together to give a genuine expression. So when you're happy and confident, you look happy and confident. When you're faking it, you look like you're faking it. Um, if anybody has any questions, pop them in the, questions, in the comments below. Um, I'm in the studio all day shooting headshots, but I am going to be on and off the computer, so I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Um, if you want you can also go on to my website johnmarieheadshots.com and I have a blog on there um, and there's loads of random information about mindfulness, mindset and self-image and self-acceptance so uh, yeah, comment below have a great day